Do you like power? Do you like big power? I'm standing on a 38-foot Eagle Craft Cruiser with the very first V12 Mercury 600 horsepower engines in all of Canada. This is an absolute machine. I took a quick peek inside, but I can't wait to have a tour with Tori from Eagle Craft. He's gonna come on, point out all the details of this boat after the tour. I'm gonna get to take this boat for a rip. I can't believe I was asked to do this, but I'm super excited and I can't wait to get this thing on the water. Managing Director of Eagle Craft and we're standing in front of this absolutely gorgeous machine 38-foot cruiser. It uh, looks spectacular Tori, but I want you to talk about and tell me Some of the specifics of this boat. Let's let's start with the outside here It's just sure. you know just walking up and looking at it so yeah. streamlined and it just looks so solid Sure, yeah, I guess one thing that separates uh, our Eagle Craft boats is this is technically a commercial boat uh, We still build commercial vessels and this build, boat is built no different. We've just made it a little bit prettier here for recreational purposes. Well, I mean, the, the paint job on this thing is awesome, yeah. right? Like it just, uh, the colors of it, but you're right, it does have that, you know, you know, sturdy, bulky commercial feel to it, but still is streamlined enough to look like a sexy recreational boat. You know, we work with each individual customer to build the boat exactly the way they want it. Um, Back to the you know the welding side of things, that's really what separates us from from a lot of the other boat builders. Can't really see a lot of it, um, but this boat's got five sixteenths on the bottom and quarter inch on the side. Typically, most boats this size would be a quarter inch on the bottom and maybe three sixteenths on the side. So, um, it doesn't sound like a big difference, but it is. That's uh, a heavy duty. It's solid a heavy boat. duty boat. Yeah. Absolutely. Can you trailer a boat like this? Yeah, absolutely. That's what makes the 38 so special. We, we actually build it in two different beams, uh, so it can be trailered. Uh, this boat has got 11 foot four beam. So here in BC, that's technically trailable uh, without a pilot car. What a great feature. Like you said, a lot absolutely. of people look at this boat and think there's no way you could put that on a trailer, but to have that ability just opens up a whole new world. It does, absolutely, yeah. Wow. So get to those remote locations. And honestly, the biggest thing for a lot of our customers is in the winter, they can take it back to their home and store it. It doesn't have to stay in the marina. Uh, so that's probably the biggest benefit that a lot of people don't even realize. Right. Yeah, that's, that's a real special, unique feature. Yeah, without a doubt. So Tori, on the back deck now, obviously, and uh, you know, one of the things that I instantly think about when I get onto a boat like this is can you fish off it? And I noticed right away there's downriggers, right, set up. We've got the helm steering back here. Tons of storage, it's a big dance floor. I mean, we got some storage in here or, or uh, you know, could even be live wellish, right? Yeah, if yeah you, it if does, you need. This particular right? boat is uh, plumbed for a live well. Yeah. Um, and that side is a fish box. Then also in floor here, we have access for storage. Oh wow, look at that storage in there, hey? Jeez. And the other thing you'll notice too is there's actually four doors on this boat. So you have two on the transom, a uh, side door on each side of the boat. You know, I was actually just gonna say that to you because, uh, you know, a lot of boats have one exit, right? Right or one exit out the side. But here, like you said, two, uh, you know, uh, a port starboard door and then out the back as well. So, and the transom is huge too, right? Like you need a lot of support for, for that uh, horsepower back there, which we can get into later. But yeah. I mean, there's tons of room on this boat. It's fantastic. Wow. Yeah, this is, uh, <laughs> this, when you first walk into this thing, it, just, it really just blows you away. Just. Uh, the, the craftsmanship, the detail here, um, I personally really like the dark colors. You know, it really gives you that rich, rich feeling. Um, but again, everything's laid out so nicely. There's tons of room. Yeah, absolutely. So this boat on the interior is designed for you, for you to stay on it for about three days at anchor. Um, not, not just cruising, literally on the boat without anything, no services. That's what we design them for. You can sleep basically two down below here, two forward, and then of course this settee converts as well into a nice, really well-sized berth. So uh, it doesn't look like it, but this is actually almost a queen size mattress. So this folds into a bed as well, it the does, table. Yeah, yeah wow. the, the table actually just drops down and uh, there's a couple cushions that go on top and you can now sleep in uh, right here. On this size Eagle Craft, we're able to offer 
a separate shower and head. Uh, so head on this side, so you have your sink and your actual toilet. And then over here is uh, your shower, so you're not getting your, your head all wet. You got uh, the captain's chair here, right? For sure. And again, you look at, uh, you know, there's no clutter on here. It's just, uh, it's super clean. Everything's accessible, well labeled. Um, you know, we've got the work system here, with the joystick, and the sight lines from up here. Those, I, those two big windows like that are, are, gore, are beautiful, hey? Eh? Like, uh, even out the side. I mean, there's, uh, you almost, you have a full 360 view with no blind spots at all. I think you'll be really impressed when we're able to get out in the water here later today to kind of hear how quiet this boat is. And also a testament to the, to the Mercury 600s. They're super quiet to begin with. So uh, it just makes for an awesome package together. That's uh, that's a package that I'm very interested in yeah, testing. <laughs> for sure, for sure. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to get this thing out on the water and uh, and let her rip. I'm here with Andy White from Mercury Marine. Andy, we are here with the very first two Mercury V12 600 horsepower engines in all of Canada. Correct, correct. Like, yep. these are them. It's unbelievable. Look at the size of these things. These things make a statement. It just speaks to power. Yeah, yeah, these actually stand over six feet tall. So when you go beside them, outside the boat, they story over you. So they are a purpose-built engine, as you can see with this Eagle Craft. I mean, large vessel, big offshore and the, uh, the ability to go far and fast. And I've heard very fuel efficient. Absolutely, yeah. So when you compare these to, let's say a triple or a quad setup, your fuel savings is substantial versus a larger or smaller horsepower with more. That's so really you're getting two engines with 1200 horsepower behind there. That's crazy. Well, yeah. let's get into some of these details here and, and uh, tell us about really what makes these stand apart. For sure. So uh, being the V12, what these, these are a static engine and a static engine means the engines actually don't turn as you're under operation. What happens is down below the gear cases turn so just independently. The legs moving. That's right. So in a standard outboard, your turning ability is about 30%. When you're on the joystick on this, you actually have 45% maneuverability under the water to give you real tight docking situations. That's a huge increase. Oh, 30 to 45 is it's big. Wow. Yeah. So, but the cool thing about these is you can service these engines in the water. So what we've designed. <laughs> is a, uh, a hood with an electronic uh, release. Um, so all your service points are up top here. Uh, you have fuel, everything is color coded. You have oil filter, transmission, transmission. Mm -hmm. So these actually have the first transmission in an outboard. Wow. So it's a two speed tranny. And what the transmission does is it reduces the first gear by 20%. And then as you get up and going, you won't even feel the shift in the second. It shifts and away we go. So what that does is give you a great hole shot. Which is a important feature, especially like you said, you're you're on larger vessels. Like we're on this 38 foot Eagle Craft cruiser. You know, it's a, it's a heavy duty boat. It's 20,000 pounds probably, right, with fuel and everything like that. Sure. So to get out of the hole like that's uh, that's key. Yeah, and servicing in the water, right? Mm -hmm. So you don't have to pull out of the Huge. water to to do your let's say your lower unit uh, gear oil changes, yeah, crankcase oil changes, transmission oil changes. Everything is up on the on the top here. Also your fuse. Uh, panels right here and as far as you know maintenance on these these are designed and they have the ability to go twice as long between service intervals so oh, you don't wow. have to pull it out every every scheduled as you would with a v6 or a v8 wow all the features you've described it's 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 remarkable how yeah. far tech, technology has come and and what mercury has incorporated into this engine absolutely and this actually runs a, a dual prop setup which has a large prop and a smaller prop behind it and really it gives you the most thrusting power you're gonna get out of this, this engine. This is what's called the Next Gen DTS. Next Gen DTS is our latest version of our digital throttle shift controls. What it, what it has is the ability to shift and go forward, neutral, reverse, but at the, at the rear station, and you also have a forward station, mm -hmm. okay? What we've also done is we've incorporated some of the features that we've introduced in the last couple of years, such as active trim. And as you know, that trims your engines automatically, right. and that's based on engine RPM and mm -hmm. speed. So what we've done now is we've incorporated the switch gear into the, the control box itself. And essentially what that does is that gives us more dash real estate, they call it, without the, the um, need to have an independent active trim switch. Very yep. straightforward. And yep. you got the 
joystick system on this unit as well. You got it. This can make even you look like a good motor, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a lot of practice in that. Yeah, yeah. So the joystick is designed to make boating easy. Nice. And really, it comes down to um, if you want to go sideways, forward, back. It's just with the with the push of a joystick or the twist of a joystick. Right. I'm super excited to get on this boat. This is uh, this is the ultimate machine here, paired with the first 600s in, in, Canada. in Canada. Like, let's yeah. get this boat fired up and uh, take her for a rip. You got her. Here we go. <laughs> wow. Man, she just giddy ups quick. We're at 40 knots already, like five seconds. That was absolutely incredible. <laughs> what, what a machine, man. Tori, thanks so much. Hey, no problem. That Thank was you. phenomenal. Yeah. That, like on the way back in, I described it to you. I said, this is like a, a luxury sports car. A machine like this, how it turns, out of the hole, you had 30 knots in no time. And we hit 50 knots on the way home with these 1200 horses behind us, that was yeah. amazing. Zero effort. Zero. Yeah. Like when you actually went down to like 25, you yeah. felt like you were trolling. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, it's oh, it's amazing geez. and quiet. Quiet. Yeah, yeah. That's all a testament to Mercury and these, these U12 600s. Uh, completely different animal compared to, you know, even triple 300s. Yeah. It just transforms this boat uh, as far as performance and usability. How this boat handled was absolutely, it just blew me away. Like it handled like a, like a 20 foot boat. You know, turning at full speed, it was solid. I mean, you, you don't hear anything in this boat. It's just, uh, I mean, I, I'm, I'm so impressed with the whole package. Yeah. It, was, it was amazing. Yeah. Thanks for the experience, boys. That was awesome. You got it, Brad. Thank you. Always a pleasure to yeah. see you again. That was fun, yeah. man. Thanks again. Thanks so much, Brad. Yeah.